Shalom Aleichem, everybody. Hope all is well. We have some breaking news. America has just struck Iranian-backed groups in Syria. This is breaking news. This is the third time in recent weeks. In response to dozens of strikes towards American bases in the region. This is really prophecy unfolding. This is America, Rome, swallowing up Persia, the prophecy that we're, that we're awaiting to see. We're really waiting for the coming of Mashiach, but this is a process of this happening. Now, I have to understand that this is actually a development because it's not just Israel fighting Iranian-backed groups such as Hamas and Hezbollah and, you know, uh, the Iranian-backed groups in Syria, but it's also America as well. So it's really God is pinning uh, the Iranians against the Americans whether you know the Americans like it or not, this is the situation that God Himself is causing to happen, and I believe that this is this is something to watch. We saw that a few days ago, about four days ago, America struck Iranian-backed groups and they killed nine fighters in these strikes. I don't know how many casualties were inflicted by the American strikes tonight because they're just breaking news and there hasn't been a report of casualties yet or how many of the casualties, if there are. But we'll have you updated with that soon if, if there if there is. I also want to mention that there was a major escalation in, in the north today where Hezbollah basically, uh, where they launched anti-tank missiles, they launched rockets and they launched anti-tank missiles towards Israeli troops and they actually hurt six civilians. One seriously wounded, one critically wounded, and five seriously wounded Israeli civilians were hit by anti uh, Hezbollah anti-tank in the north. And Israel said they are about to do something that will change the situation in the north. That this tit-for-tat situation is not going as well as they hoped. Obviously, it did inflict uh, heavy casualties upon Hezbollah, and they've been taking a beating from this. But it's come at a, a, at a price on the Israeli side. So Israel said they're about to do something that's going to change the equation. So we're waiting to see what that is, what that response is going to be, and how Hezbollah is going to re-respond to the Israeli response, and how the situation in the north is going to develop. But again, I want to emphasize that Israel says if Hezbollah starts a war with them, they're not just going to go after Hezbollah, but they're going to go after the head of the snake, which is Iran, which is Syria, and it's going to be a major... That's going to be, they're going to pay a major price. They're going to take a heavy beating, not just Hezbollah, but their puppet masters behind the scenes as well. I want to take the time, of course, to remind you that we are coming close to the coming of Mashiach. That the Mashiach, the Messiah, could come at any moment. And Hashem, God, has put us in this world to serve Him and to carry out a mission. And we are being closely watched by God to see how we're serving Him. We're being closely observed. We're not here for fun. We're here to serve Hashem, which is, in truth, the greatest pleasure of all. When Mashiach comes, we're going to see how this is the greatest pleasure. And we have to realize that these developments, these these this war that's going on and, and all the different fronts and all the different developments and all the strategies and all the different uh, situations that are taking place, the complexities on the ground and in the air, and they're all a part of Hashem's desire to bring Mashiach. And he, he's pushing, he's moving the chess pieces, he's pushing the buttons, he's moving things around in order to bring about his will and we have to be a part of his will by serving him greater just like in a war you want to be the best version of yourself in this war you want to inflict the maximum damage upon the enemy with while uh while uh, uh getting the, the least amount of inflicting having upon you inflicted the least amount of losses possible and you want to maximize the damage on the enemy and you want to confuse the enemy and attack them from multiple fronts we in our service of god in our fight against good against evil fight for good against evil in this world fight against to bring the light into this darkness we have to be like soldiers who are maximizing this war we have to make sure our service of god is to the maximum to the maximum degree and that we do by through multiple areas, just like in a war you have a ground force, you have an air force, and so on and so forth. We need to have our ground force, our air force, meaning we have to serve God through prayer, through Torah learning, through acts of kindness, through giving charity, through self-improvement, through you know meditating, getting meditating about God, getting closer to God, by making sure we're following all the commandments closely, by working on our love for each other, and by loving your fellow even more. All these different areas they accelerate this victory. Just like if you're beating an area, an enemy in one arena,
but you're not really hitting them from the other arenas, so it's going to slow down your victory. But a true victory, you must overwhelm the enemy and hit them from multiple areas. That's how we have to serve God. We have to attack the enemy from multiple areas, a spiritual enemy, the spiritual, you know, the evil within us. We have to serve Hashem through prayer, as I said, through Torah learning, through acts of kindness, through doing the mitzvahs, the commandments, through giving charity, through working on our our character traits, by respecting our fellows, by not judging our fellows, judging people only in a positive way, trying to see the good in others. By all these different arenas, that accelerates the 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 the, the war in, within ourselves. We know that a single person, a single Jew, has the power to bring the Mashiach. I'm not Jewish, you also could be a part of this, by being a righteous Gentile and following the seven laws of Noah, serving Hashem. And that's how we bring victory. And this war, anyone who turns against Israel is going to fall. They're going directly against the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The question is, how quickly are they going to fall? And how how little is the pain going to be on our sides? Because there could be zero pain. This could be the sweetest redemption possible, but it's all dependent on you and your service of God. And we're going to see the, the, the punishment that Hezbollah is going to receive for their for starting up in the north. And we're going to see Hamas is falling apart. They're getting dismantled. Gaza Strip's cut in half. It's surrounded. And it's only a matter of time before... This terrorist organization completely collapses. They're really on the verge of it. And we're going to see what happens in the north, in Syria and Iran. When America is now involved, they're striking on a regular basis, uh, Iranian-backed groups in Syria. So it's a very complex situation. Again, in Yemen and the south as well, trying to get involved. There's obviously players behind the scenes involved as well. So it's a big situation that we're closely monitor monitoring to see how it's going to develop. So may Hashem bless you all. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. You can help donate to us below, especially in these intense times. Any amount is infinitely appreciated. May Hashem bless you infinitely. May we see the coming of Mashiach immediately. Thank you all so, so much.